in this cypress tutorial we are going to see how to perform the data driven testing with the multiple sets of test data in the previous cypress tutorial i have discussed how to read the test data from the json file and how to pass the test data to the automation test so this time we will see how to pass the multiple sets of test data to the automation test so let me go to the vs code and before we do anything here so let me explain you the manual scenario first in the previous tutorial we have automated the one flow so we navigated to the this particular url and after that we are clearing the google search text box and here we are entering something again in the google search text box and then we are clicking on the search icon so we will see how to pass the multiple sets of test data in this particular search text box and after that we are clicking on the search icon so that is a that is the manual flow guys so we will see how to pass the multiple sets of test data in this text box so that is the main goal of the data driven testing with the multiple sets of test data so here simply i will copy the one js file that is a data driven testing one and I will paste it inside the UTE folder. So here I will rename the file as data driven testing 2.cy.js. So here I will rename the suit name as data driven testing. So data driven test suit 2. And in the similar way, I will update the test name as data driven test 2. So I will delete all this stuff which is not required. So that's it guys. So coming to the code side. So here we are navigating to the URL and here we are clearing the search text box and then we are entering the test data from the JSON file by using the test data dot key name. And then finally we are clicking on the search icon in the Google page. Now this is all about the test. Now let's create the test data and we will come back to the data driven testing 2.cy.js file. So here I will go to the fixtures folder and I will copy the JSON file which we have created in the previous session. So I will paste it in the same folder and I will rename the file with the data driven testing json file so here i will open the data driven testing 2.json file so previously we have added only one json object here to add the multiple json object so you need to add the square brackets before starting the json object so this is nothing but the array of json objects so every json object is separated by the comma so here i will put comma and i will copy the whole json object once again so like this i will add another two json object so firstly in the google search text box we are searching with the postman by test test talk so second time we are going to search with the api testing by test test talk and third time we are going to search with the javascript by test test talk so that's it guys so we are done with creating the three sets of test data so here one json object is nothing but the one set of test data here so that's it guys so i'm going to close this particular file and now i will come back to the data driven testing 2.cy.js file so here what you need to do is in this spec file in the very first line first line so here I'm declaring one variable called const JSON data. And for this variable, I'm assigning the test data from this particular JSON file. That is the test, uh, sorry, data driven testing 2.json file. So how I can read that particular file is, it is very simple. So here I'm using the one keyword called required. So inside the required, I'm going to pass the 2 dot followed by slash and we have to pass the folder name now 
so our json test data file is present inside the fixtures folder so that's the reason here i'm selecting the fixtures so two dot is nothing but the current folder and followed by that we have to specify the our file name so here i will get the file name by right clicking on the file name so here i'll say rename and i will select the file name and i will add the file name over here that's it guys now this particular variable that's the json data which has the all the test data from the this particular json file now we have to iterate one by one all these json objects by using the for each loop so here i will go back to the spec file so before the <clears throat> sorry guys so before the our automation test i am writing one for each loop so by using the json data here i am writing for each so here i will simply delete this part and after that so after reading this particular test data so i am going to store it in the one of the variable called test data so that's it guys now this particular variable test data has the all the test data from the our json file so simply i will take the our automation code that is automation test and i will put it inside the for each code block so that's it guys now to access the data so we have to use the this particular variable that is a test data dot key name if you look at the line number 13 so already we are using the test data variable dot key name so this key name is present inside the our json test data file if you look at here in the first json object so we have the key name and in the second json object we have the key name and also we have the key name in the third json object also right so that's it guys so this is what the code changes you need to do it in the spec file and about the test data now we will go back to the cypress test runner and this time in the first time it has to pass the any of the, this particular test data so basically it will run the this one test three times so first time it will pass the postman by tester stock that means it will pass the first object and second time it will pass the second json object and in the third time it will pass the third json object now i will go back to the test runner and let's refresh the page and we will get the spec file here and we will run the test once again so if you look at here guys so already it has created the three test based on the number of sets test data we have in the json file so firstly it is searching with the postman by test stock in the google search text box and now it is running the same test with the second set of test data and this time it is searching api testing by test stock and in the third time it is going to search with the javascript by tester stock so this is how we can perform the data driven testing with the multiple sets of test data in the cypress automation framework